APC PCC list. Tinumbu pushing us to campaign for Obi. Angry Southeast chieftains complain. Welcome to the news. If you are new, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have been there supporting this channel, I say thank you. Welcome back as you share and subscribe. More complaints have continued to trail the recently released list of the All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council. As Southeast Chieftains of the party have claimed that its presidential candidate, Bala Metunumbu, has pushed them to campaign for Labour Party candidate Peter B with their massive exclusion from the list. Reacting bitterly to the exclusion of many prominent members of the party in the Southeast geopolitical zone, a chieftain who spoke to Daily Sun on condition of anonymity argued that the few names that made the list and the inconsequential position assigned to them a confirmation of lack of regard Tinumbu has for the party members from the zone. While commenting on the list, the party's chief claimed that the former Lagos State Governor has inadvertently facilitated what it described as the possibility of many of them secretly campaigning for the Labour Party presidential candidate expressing disappointment over Tinumbu's action. But come to think of it, the composition of the presidential campaign team is this a swamp man um, as assignment. I think the party is supposed to come together, the National Working Committee, the ESCO, are they not supposed to come together and put the list together from all the zones and before announcing it? Why is it that every time they come up with something, one particular section of the country we always come out and say, what they have done in the north, you are see, talking about Muslim Muslim ticket and not being able to resolve that. This one again, the presidential campaign list is out and they are still haggling here and there. When will all these politicians even get one thing right for God's sake? If within their party at their macro level they are finding it difficult to arrange things right or get things done the way it should be done, how much more the national level when they are going to manage the resources? the potentials of this country. How we sure they are going to do it right with all this disappointment coming here and there? PDP is still battling with who and who is supposed to be the vice presidential candidate, who and who will go, whether the chairman should remain or not. And this one that they are fighting over the presidential campaign council. Well, it is clear that Tinumbu has no regard for the Igbo members of this party. Why did I say so? If you divide the composition of the 422 member council into the six geopolitical zones, it should be at least 60 persons each. But how many party members from the Southeast made the list? They are not up to 35 or at most 40 persons. Does that show respect? Again, it reduced the presidential aspiration of Igbo extraction that contested against him to mere observers with the kind of position he gave to them, he argued. Reacting further, the APC chieftain said, If you ask me, Ashwaju and Scam may have concluded that most of the party members from the Southeast will work for B presidency, and as such, I have no confidence including them in the list. It may be right or wrong, but what this action or inaction shows is that Ashwaju has tactically pushed them to work on the ground secretly for Peter B since he does not value them. None of us will leave the All Progressive Congress, I can tell you that, but don't ask me who, who, who we will work for. In reality of the impression, yes, for the All Progressive Congress Southeast, because I don't think they will certainly give him 100%. Somebody who gave you that treatment doesn't have any regard for you and will not certainly get 100% support from you also. We wish him luck, the chief chain kept. When will these people get it right? Every time instead of coming and resolving their matter, in will they always bring it to the fore for everybody to see that there are crises. Simply put, Tinumbu and all progressive Congress believes 
that Igbo people can be treated anyhow and get away with it. If not so, why can't him do the same to the Hausa Fulani people? Or is he not thinking that they also may vote for their brother Atiku? No, he knows that with some money, Igbos can betray his brother. Well, what is this that they are talking about? Why are they always talking of bringing about ethnicity in every issue that has to do with our national polity? We should go beyond that and do what is needful. This country needs the best to get to where we need to go. Ugly people, Tinumbu knows he will not win in the East. Ah, you have not brought anything to the table. Tinumbu has told the Northern elders during his consultations that he did not need the Igbos to win the election. According to him, the North and the West can make him win. He did care to ask why Tinumbu has not visited any Eastern state till now. Tinumbu has no regard for people from Eastern extraction. Even Buhari knew that all progressive Congress has failed since. That is why he said that it was a privilege for him to become the president. When I will never do, I wonder why people will always ascribe some issues around him even when he has nothing to do with it. This that your blind eyes may open to see the hand of God in all that is happening, both to you in all progressive Congress and your utter ego in People's Democratic Party. So you should stop blaming Tinubu and Tuku and do the needful now. There is still time to redeem yourself. The seeming intractable, in, intractable confusion in the two mega parties and the Lord who has come down to rescue his people and salvage them for all that they are going through. Well, what is your take on this? Will this crisis make the two major parties miss it come 2023? Kindly make your opinion known as a subscribe to my channel. Thank you, good day, and be blessed.